all right you guys welcome back to my channel and i know a lot of you guys be having difficulties trying to figure out what to eat and with breakfast being the most important meal of the day i will be showing y'all five different breakfast ideas low calorie breakfast ideas with a good amount of protein and y'all let me just be honest i eat the same thing pretty much the same thing just mix it up different combinations and one thing i noticed is if it work why switch it up y'all so without further ado keep watching so y'all can see these ingredients Today, I'm going to be doing a scramble, and I'm going to be using Jimmy Dean turkey sausage, cheese, mushrooms, y'all. I add mushrooms to literally all my breakfast ideas just because, y'all, I love mushrooms. Uh, microwave bacon. On the go, I'm really in, always in a hurry. I'm very, very, I'll be moving fast, so I need something that I can cook quickly. And then, per the usual, we'll be using Hill Country Valley egg whites. And with this, I'm going to be eating um, a waffle. Let me show y'all the waffle. With this, I'm going to be eating a Kodiak buttermilk waffle, y'all. I'll be transporting it from my house to my mama house. So, I have it in this bag, but I will show y'all a picture of it. And then I use Hill Country Fair Light Syrup. I'm a type of person, anywhere, anywhere I can save calories, I'm going to do it. So, let me show y'all how to make this scramble real quick and easy. And be sure I weigh everything, and I'll show y'all how I weigh everything throughout this process. Things first, I always weigh the mushrooms first, and I'm gonna be doing one ounce of mushrooms, you guys. As you can see, I weigh everything because that's the key of knowing how much you're actually taking in. So, all right, so we got one or two that's about close to one ounce, won't change significantly with the calorie amount for the point two. And so, I like to cook the mushrooms first because I want them to get soft. So, what I do is I use zero calorie, non cooking, non stick cooking spray. Cause who got time for olive oil? And then go ahead and turn on the stove top, put it on medium. And then I'm gonna slice these mushrooms up and I'm gonna let them saute in and the pan. I was go ahead and weigh the egg whites. And so now while the mushrooms are sauteing, I'm gonna prepare everything else on this place that's gonna go in. Cause once the mushrooms get soft, we're gonna add the eggs and the scramble is gonna be ready to be prepared. See the mushrooms are cooked down. I really like my mushrooms cooked hard, but you can cook them to your preference. And now it's time to add the eggs. So now I'm going to chop up this sausage and this bacon and the cheese and add it in. I usually include spinach, but I ran out of spinach this morning. So yeah, I will show y'all the finished product. So since I don't like my eggs cooked too hard, I let it till they cook around the edges and I start mixing it up. Then I'm gonna add the cheese in last because I want that taste to bear through it, okay? So the last step, I'm gonna weigh my syrup and then breakfast is gonna com be complete. And I'm gonna be doing two 0.25 ounces because I don't really like a lot, a lot of syrup. But yeah, so this is the finished product. Look at that. Amazing. This is the finished project. Meal one, Kodiak buttermilk waffles, y'all. And by the way, these are protein waffles. With protein on the side, lots of protein. All right, you guys, here we are with breakfast idea number two. It's a little late, so I'm a little behind on breakfast, but I never forget it. So I'm going to be making my famous breakfast sandwich using real egg whites cheese, thin sliced ham, bacon, and bread. So this is a very low calorie sandwich, y'all. Like I think it's only about less than 200 calories and I will show y'all the nutrition facts of the sandwich by itself, but I'm gonna be adding some extra stuff on the, on the side because I haven't ate and I'm starving, but I will show y'all this sandwich idea. So the first step is while the egg whites are cooking, you wanna, once they start getting, you see the white part showing, you wanna lay the bread down in the skillet. Okay, doctor. now once it get white all around the edges, you're gonna be ready to flip it over and add the things inside the sandwich. All right, so once the sandwich is flipped over, this is how it look. And then all I do is add whatever I want on the sandwich inside. Very, very simple. Wait, let's make it pretty. And then 
at the hem. And then I like to keep the side that has the cheese on it at the bottom so it can melt faster. And then you just close it. And then you let it heat up for a little bit, let the cheese melt, and then boom, that's how you make the sandwich. So here is the finished product. Very, very simple and cute, quick and easy. And I usually eat it with some yogurt or a protein shake or some fruit on the side. So here is what you can eat for this. All right, you guys, here we are with breakfast idea number three. And I'm going to be making some my family's breakfast tacos, y'all. And like I said, I pretty much use the same ingredients. So if you are a regular, y'all know what we're using. We got egg whites, cheese, uh, mushrooms. Y'all know can't see it. I have one of the mushrooms and microwave bacon and turkey sausage. And for the low-cal bread idea, we, I'm going to be using carb sense tortillas. And these are 45 calories per tortilla. So you get two breakfast tacos for 90 calories, okay? So I'm going to put everything in the skillet and I will show y'all the finished product. Per the usual, I'm going to cook the mushroom first, then add the eggs, and then we're going to go from there. All right, so once everything is all mixed in, now I'm just going to stir it up and throw it inside the tortilla. Okay, so this is how it looks when it's all mixed up. And now we're just going to warm up the tortillas and put it in the tortilla. All right, so here is the finished product. These are my famous breakfast tacos with turkey sausage, bacon, egg whites, mushrooms, and cheese. Read and weep, guys. Read and weep. All right, you guys. Here we are with breakfast idea number four. And today I'm going to be making a vegetable scramble. And usually I'll put like onions and bell peppers in it. But if I'm in a rush, I really don't have time to do all of that. But you can add onions, bell peppers, tomatoes, whatever you would like inside the scramble. But for today, I'll be using mushrooms. Like I told y'all, love spinach. Spinach. Egg whites per the usual. And of course, y'all, I can't go without my cheese, so I will be adding cheese. And you can pa match this up with oatmeal. You can match this up with a waffle. You can match this up with avocado toast. It's different things that you can match with this. And so that's why I feel like it's a versatile breakfast idea so that you can pair it with anything. And plus, it's very locale. So I will show y'all the finished product. All right, all right, you guys. So the key is to add the spinach in while the eggs are still cooking so the spinach could cook down with the eggs and also marinate with the mushrooms. So once the egg get hard on the bottom, then that's when I would start to scramble it and add the cheese. All right, y'all, you guys, it's steaming hot right now. So this is the finished product. And I'm gonna be eating a waffle with this because I'm craving syrup and something sweet. So here is the breakfast vegetable scramble. No meat. Here you go. These This could be for my vegetarians, not vegan, because it's cheese and not vegan. But yes, here is the scramble. All right, you guys, here we are with breakfast idea number five, the last one. And this one is another meatless option. And today I'm going to be making my famous avocado toast using avocado, mushrooms, spinach, of course, real egg whites, and y'all know the drill some cheese and it's really not good to eat cheese every day y'all but nobody's perfect and i eat cheese every day and i just try to make the best of this calorie deficient make it easier for myself to stick to by eating things that i like of course cheese does eventually destroy the waistline but we're gonna cross that bridge when we get there but yeah so this um this uh, avocado toast can be optional like you can add meat to it you cannot you could just leave it plain with just the toast and avocado and the bread that i will be using is the keto nature's own bread i will show you that this bread as per the usual 40 calories per slice and yeah so with this um you could pretty much match it i'll probably eat mine with some yogurt or probably just make a couple of extra eggs and put it on the side but i will show y'all the finished product of my avocado toast all right, you guys, so I lightly toasted the bread and I warmed up the avocado. So now what I'm going to do is warm up the cheese for about 10 seconds so that it can melt and then place the avocado on top. All right, so as you can see, I hardly ever add seasoning to any of my breakfast I did. Pretty much, I just add seasoning to my dinner. But when I'm using avocado toast, I love to use this bagel 
not included seasoning. So nothing but bagel seasoning from H-E-B Yard. And I'm gonna just add that on top of the toast. And it's just a very light seasoning, very low sodium. Really, really good way to season your breakfast, even if you want to add it to your eggs or your avocado toast, or whatever you would like. So, once I add this, that will complete the tutorial for this avocado toast. All right, you guys, so here is the finished product. I got my avocado toast with my eggs on the side. Me, I like to mix all my food together, so you might, I might throw all this on top of this bread and roll it up like a taco, but here is the finished product. All right, you guys, with that being said, thanks for tuning in to this video. I hope these breakfast options are very helpful for you guys and you will incorporate them into your daily eating. Yeah, these are my favorite breakfast options and I really eat these every single day all throughout the week and just alternate through adding different sides you know the best way to just enjoy this calorie deficient is eating what you want enjoying what you like and trying different things to keep it spiced up keep it spontaneous so if you have any suggestions any questions please leave them in the comments below and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe thanks for tuning in